everyone. Welcome to your Mind Matter series, a series to help you manage your mental well-being. Brought to you by I Properties in partnership with the Malaysia Positive Psychology Association. It's definitely an honor to be here to share with you some of the fine secrets and models that will help you lead a happier life in this new normal that we are in. Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends. Let me start by sharing with you a story about a camel and a cup. So in this story I'll be narrating the name of these people as a mother and son. The mother camel and son were having a very nice cup of hot cappuccino and while having the nice cup of coffee the son asked the mother, "Mother, mother, why is it that we are born with such long beautiful strong legs?" Mother says, "My child, you are born with long beautiful legs because you have to walk for miles and miles in the desert." Ah, mother, that's interesting. Mother, one more question, please. Mother, why are we born with such long beautiful eyelashes? Ha <laughs> ha, my child, you are born with long beautiful eyelashes. so that you will be able to protect your eyes when you walk for miles in the desert where there may be sandstorm wow mother this is amazing how how come we can be blessed with such amazing capabilities mother one more question yes my child had it been any other mother chances as she may say shut up enough no more But this mother was kind and she said yes ask mother we have got such a nice beautiful body figure with a hump on it what is that for my child you and i are born with a hump so that we can store water as we walk for miles and miles in the desert the child now got very upset after hearing that and then asked the mother mother we are born with long strong legs we are born with a hump we are born with long beautiful eyelashes to protect our eyes in the desert what on earth are we doing at zoo negara kuala lumpur dear friends this story really helps you and me to reflect on our lives are we stuck in the jail of our mind when blessed with abundance when we are blessed with skills and capabilities to achieve great heights something to think about because the great master lauzu has shared with us a very powerful statement watch your thoughts they become your words watch your words they become your action watch your action they become your habit and watch your habit they become your character watch your character they become your destiny dear friends the destiny that we are all destined to be at starts from just a thought a thought which is a conversation that you have with yourself in your mind and remember our mind is just like a projector whatever you input into the projection whatever you input into the projector will now be seen in the screens of your life so remember you are never a victim your mind is a projector and your life is going to be the screen so you got to be very careful with the kind of conversations you have in your mind and yourself which will determine the kind of projection that will happen and manifest in your life the choice is in your hands as you can choose to look at the pandemic as challenges and difficult moments of life or you can pivot and look at it as an opportunity an opportunity to do things differently an opportunity for you to become far more successful an opportunity for you to upskill and reskill yourself you will be able to move forward dear friends 
the new normal life model requires you and me to really follow the red race of life approach race resilience adaptability conversations empathy and when i use the word conversations we are referring to conversations which are appreciative in its nature and are very solution focused this is the new normal life model your friends you and i wake up every day to various choices in life you have an option to look at life from a deficit lens and assume that everything is bad everything is horrible life is pathetic everything is going down the drains or to wake up every morning with an eye of appreciation when you look at life from an appreciative lens and you ask yourself what are you most grateful for what is it that you are able to still do no matter what challenges that has come so far dear friends now let me share with you this very powerful conversation framework which i had learned from my mentor called dr hey simon from the university of toronto dear friends all our conversations has got a timeline it comes from either a past present or future right so all our conversation has a timeline and that's the x axis every conversation will either have some positive content or negative content or both so when you put this two axis together you will find that you have now successfully formed a quadrant and this is the quadrant in which you and i will always have our conversations navigating around so let's start with the first quadrant which is positive content and future it's called preferred future positive content in the past is called resourceful past negative content in the past is called troubled past and negative content which is directed to the future is called dreaded future so every time that you are about to have a conversation be it with your family be it with your colleagues be it with your leaders be it with your teams you got to become so mindful and careful on two things number 1 what exactly is the person saying and put what they say onto a quadrant so what somebody says could either be something about a preferred future and an example of a preferred future would be like i am so excited about the herd immunity that's coming soon in malaysia which will mean soon we will be able to travel around the country and meet up with our loved ones so that conversation is in the future and positive content you could also have conversations which are resourceful past which is positive content that happened in the past during the last mco mco 1.0 i remember spending hours and hours learning different skills upskilling and reskilling myself so that i'll be able to reach out and help more people so it was a positive content but it happened in the past and therefore it's a resourceful past trouble past my life is miserable i hate my life i am so tired and frustrated with all these challenges that we are facing life is not fair negative content in the past dreaded future i don't see a good future ahead anymore given that changes that's going around in the policies of the government positive negative content in the future dreaded future so every time when someone speaks to you have this framework at the back of your mind and be able to clearly identify which quadrant is the conversation in right after that just like this white spot 
you have a choice when you were to respond are you going to say something which will continue to navigate the conversations in the same quadrant as where they came from or are you going to shift the conversations to move suppose your colleague or your friend said something about trouble pass are you going to continue having the conversation in trouble pass where you will feel horrible you will feel your energy drain or are you going to be able to do a reframe so reframing technique will help you to move from negative conversations to positive conversations right so the choice is in your hands on how do you navigate the conversation so let me give you an example suppose somebody comes and tells you you know the last 6 months sales has been horrible i have not been able to even close one deal you have a choice now to say why did you have that problem what is wrong oh my goodness that's really bad you know and you go on a pity mode and continue talking about the past or you could with lots of empathy and understanding acknowledge the difficulty your colleague is having and immediately look into what that person has done well before so for an example i would reframe it to the resourceful past and say what are some of the activities that you did which helped you to actually get some good leads what have you done in the past when you had difficulty getting leads in the past when you were having difficulty getting clients what were some of the activities and actions did you take to create more possibilities and this simply means i have moved the person to go from the trouble past to resourceful past and in that same way dear friends what you should be doing is to become more and more mindful on a daily basis when you're having conversation with your family your loved ones your colleagues and even in your organization to focus all forms of conversations to be either in preferred future quadrant or to be in resourceful past quadrant the secret to being able to successfully having this conversations which are positive depends on your 4d the first d is a decision that you have to make you have to become mindful and you have to make a decision that you really want to navigate the conversations in a specific direction number 2 be clear on which direction are you heading and which destination you want to bring the conversation to and finally number 4 which is the fourth d discipline repeatedly you got to become mindful of the conversations you have and ensure that the framework called dialogic orientation quadrant or the you know conversation framework that i shared with you just now continues to be at the back of your mind and every time people speak to you your role as a leader as a agent as a friend as a colleague as a family member is to ensure that all conversations are either in the preferred future or in the resourceful past dear friends let's be reminded once again that our mind is a projector whatever conversations you have in your mind will slowly now form and manifest in your life as the truth as reality so ensure that every conversation you have is positive look at your strengths look at your resources look at your skills and see how you can make the best and create the best possibilities for yourself as you move forward with that i thank you very very much for listening to this session and do follow us on facebook the malaysia positive psychology association as we have got hundreds of different 
content, insights that we would like to share to help you and support you in these challenging times. Thank you very much.